we're coming to you from inside PVR Promenade that's inside the DLF Promenade Mall at Vasant Kunj. What's interesting is that we're standing only a few days away now uh, from the big uh, announcement coming in from the Finance Ministry. That's the big budget we're talking about. We know it's a vote on account, it's an interim budget, it's not a full budget, so therefore the expectations may be tempered, but nonetheless, there are expectations. There are people who are experiencing uh, different economic situations and it gives us a sense of where they are placed or where the country is placed, where the middle class is placed and what they are hoping for. We're talking about what's really affecting you at an individual level. So whether it's rising costs, whether it's job security, whether when going forward, if you feel confident about taking loans, whether uh, you, you feel confident about making big investments. So these are some of the questions we'll be asking. As a salaried person, I would like to say that a little standard direction is going to happen. And in education, there is a little bit uh, कोई नया लॉ लाएं कुछ लाएं जिससे कि एजुकेशन थोड़ी सस्ती हो जाए एजुकेशन बहुत महंगी है और हेल्थ भी बहुत महंगा है हॉस्पिटल एंड एजुकेशन आई एम राइट नाउ इन्वेस्टिंग इन ईएलएसएस स्टॉक्स एंड आई एम डूइंग पीपीएस एंड ऑल बट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वी सी द शेयर ऑफ द मनी दैट आई एम स्पेंडिंग ऑन माय इन्वेस्टमेंट्स दे आर समवेयर अबाउट 30% एंड आई वांट टू इंप्रूव दैट आई वांट टू इंप्रूव द पोर्शन ऑफ द शेयर बट द प्रॉब्लम इज इफ वी कंसीडर द होम लोन्स द कार लोन्स एंड बेसिक नेसेसिटीज द लाइफस्टाइल दैट आई एम going with with the kind of money that i'm earning right now the investments are not not that good i'm a business owner uh, we sell electrical goods uh, which comes under 18% slab so if you ask me my basic expectation is if government can work on decreasing the slab because you know market is very competitive right now if we can save more we can invest more we should get some tax saving investments mm -hmm. uh, like in last budget we got that mahila saving scheme something that was introduced but uh, uh, when i visited the bank they don't have any information and i uh, was trying to invest but i still can't invest because sure. i didn't get any information about it mm -hmm. so basically the schemes that are being launched that their implementation should also be taken care of we are already given tax on our salary okay apart from that there are like multiple commodities that we are buying and then we are also like uh, spending money on those we are spending money and government is taking multiple tax from there also so it would be great like if you could reduce overall taxes and like we should have multi, we should have like some amount of money that could be like for the spirit to further different aspects i'm a first generation entrepreneur and we have started a restaurant here in delhi what i have seen is that whatever gst is charged to the customers we are not able to take input for restaurants so i would request the honorable finance minister to see to look into this so that we can take input credit as well ease of doing business is something which is extremely critical as you very rightly pointed out um i think that over the last few years we have certainly seen some game changers uh, you know coming into place for instance the vat system uh, going out uh, we've seen the gst coming in still we see a lot of issues from gst perspective things like gst reconciliations uh, the purchases uh, you know not really reflected through systematically on the gst portals being on top of everything from statutory compliance perspective sometimes is draining because we are focusing so much of energy on managing these things rather than really focusing on the business per se if if things were easier if tax system and structure was easier if we only had to focus on generating revenues in business things would have been a lot more different while going around getting a uh, common citizens wish list we've uh, we've ran into pandit vishnu mohan bhat who's a grammy award winner and a padma bhushan awardee thank you so much sir for joining us on cnbc tv 18 uh, is there anything on your budget wish list that you would like to put in this ballot box and let the finance minister know see what we expect from all the government whoever is ruling we expect that they should respect our art culture and heritage and the classical art especially because i see in in the budget there is no provision for uh, promotion of indian classical music or the protection of indian classical music so i would request this government to take care of the artist who need फाइनेंशियल हेल्प मैं पर्सनली बिलीव करता हूँ कि इंडिया में वेल्थ टैक्स को एबोलिश किया था कुछ सालों पहले ऐसे ही प्रोफेशन टैक्स को एबोलिश करना चाहिए क्योंकि प्रोफेशन टैक्स का जो रेवेन्यू गवर्नमेंट को मिलती है हर स्टेट को उसके कंपेयर में एक्सपेंसेस उनके ज़्यादा है सेकेंडली प्रोफेशन टैक्स दस हज़ार रुपया कमाने वाला आदमी या दस लाख पर मंथ कमाने वाला आदमी सबको दो सौ रुपया ही प्रोफेशन टैक्स है पर मंथ ईयरली टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड होता है 
तो ये यूजलेस प्रोफेशन टैक्स है माय विश लिस्ट इज फॉर द मिडिल क्लास स्पेशली इन हाउसिंग सेक्टर आई थिंक सम ऑफ द एक्सपेक्टेशन विच आई वुड हैव इज इंक्रीजिंग द डिडक्शन लिमिट फ्रॉम करेंट ट्रेंड्स ऑफ टू लैक्स फॉर इंटरेस्ट ऑन हाउसिंग लोन टू फाइव लैक्स विच वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड इन द प्रीवियस बजट एज वेल दैट इन गो थ्रू समथिंग फॉर चेंजिंग द इंटरेस्ट लैब रेट फॉर प्रिंसिपल पेमेंट ऑफ हाउसिंग लोन हैविंग इट सेपरेट फ्रॉम एटीसी the taxes should go down on the medicines and definitely uh, infrastructure like the home loans that should go down you know because right now it's so expensive even if you go to buy a cd for a playstation so many taxes are there that you cannot even buy anything you have to think 100 times you know we are in india so now i would say that the finance ministry they should try and manufacture everything in india what is it that you would like from the finance minister to be included in this budget do you want your personal recommendations do you want to make uh, i want a macbook do you want macbook to be cheaper and made in india yes what would you like to be made in india uh, the g your gt5 cd in with there is super power also every every super power. <laughs> so you want that to be cheaper yes it is 50 dollar We're at the movies, and we have a lot of people excited for the latest blockbuster. But apart from that, the big blockbuster will be on Feb one, which is the Union Budget. What do you think of the budget, and what are your expectations? Uh, I know it's an interim budget actually this year because it's the last year of the uh, Modi 2.0 government. So hopefully, not many many major changes to the tax structure, but maybe some rationalisation bit, something expected on the capital gains tax or something. That is what is expected, and maybe something on the new regime. Maybe they can increase the slabs a bit. So I think two expectations on the from the budget side. Nothing more. I think we'll have a full fledged budget in July. Uh, they need to drop GST rates. They can't just keep spending on infrastructure for the poor at the expense of the middle class. It doesn't work that way. uh the middle class may be the the you know the lower middle and the lower than that could be the vote bank but ultimately we are the people who earn and pay everybody their salaries are you expecting some sort of tax swaps or incentives for you to do business i think it's too late in the day i think uh, the prime minister recently announced that he wants to put solar on every rooftop right so i think the solar industry will get some incentives i mean there are there's a gandhi nagar ex- exhibition happening right now so i think the prime minister is going to announce and the finance minister will announce some incentives to import the chinese technology not via china but there are other countries as well so i think solar sector would be a really uh, great boost so uh, swaps of the solar sector what are you expecting um, as i said before i'm more interested in that than invest in large scale infra projects a uh, better the dedicated freight corridor just ramp it up get it up up and running by 2026 and um set up better rail network and better transportation better roads that's my expectation what we've been trying to do is get your opinion your wishes as to what do you expect from the finance minister this time around we'll have two budgets one will be the interim budget and the second will be the final budget so what are we expecting in terms of that generally the government same is to shift to the new tax regime and shifting to the new tax regime corporates are already shifting but for the individual i think they should make two or three uh, concessions firstly it is for the medical benefit and for the retirement if they bring two things in the new tax regime i think it would be very successful the government should waive off the capital gain tax first of all that is a bad so that yeah because see uh, the persons uh, law for long term you know so they should be of the capital gains tax that is what i feel in fathering clause you know which they although they pushed up the cost but uh, they got into the ambit the earlier stocks now my father was in the stock market for past 50 years wow. so all those also came into the tax bracket we we been investors you know we not traders so that although the cost was inflated to get a proper taxation but they should have cut it off somewhere and said before this no taxation and beyond this that I am a practicing chartered accountant. Uh, it's been a very tough task for managing clients, GST is related issues. They are uh, whatever, whatever. Every day there's something or the other which is coming up. Um, uh, a lot of amendments in the GST Act. Uh, it is very difficult for us as chartered accountants also to read every day, to study, to appear, uh, to do a, to do what or not. So that is what I feel. Uh, a little bit of relaxation on the GST end also. A little bit better things to happen. when it comes to inflation when it comes to budget it's up to us the homemakers to balance things 
and uh, whatever is provided to us, we need to know how much we need to spread and how we have to curtail our expenses. I don't think anyone else can manage it more than the how homemakers. Definitely, inflation is one of the concerns. That is why we ask for DNS allowances. So inflation should be in control manner. Though some amount of inflation is good, though I am an economics person, so I know that. But inflation should be managed properly. There should be management of inflation. But recently there have been schemes, but more amount of schemes, more amount of investment in good sectors can lead to this kind of betterment of the society. I will again want to stress on the tax cut. There should be more relaxation for women because they are the homemakers of the country. And we have to manage everything in the household. So I want that government should think on this factor that ladies should be given more benefit, tax benefit for this. Uh, that's, that's all about this. What about job opportunities? Uh, job opportunities in government sector, there are very lesser, but uh, in private sector, so this, uh, quite a few uh, amount of uh, jobs are there. But go in government should create more jobs in, uh, in government sector. Generally not restricted to the age group. One issue is the tech sector layoffs that, I mean, even your channel has reported in recent times. And second thing is the geopolitical uncertainty, you know, caused either due to the Russia-Ukraine war or the recent, uh, you know, the Red Sea crisis. So this is something that needs to be tackled efficiently. What about you? What do you think are the challenges that people I, are facing? Besides what he is telling, another challenge is for the middle class. I being the middle class, I feel in a lot of budgets, for middle class, not much incentives are given, especially on the tax rate or even on benefits in case of education or lot of the benefits. So I think some kind of benefits I want for the middle class to come. I think uh, the pitch of this uh, Republic Day has been Nari Shakti. So I think we can go for women's education and uh, like we were discussing about, you know, we can make women's education free up to graduation and, you know, give them, fulfill their aspirations and do the counseling and, you know, pick up, their, pick up them, pick them up early and get them into proper jobs so that they become independent. This is that time of the year when people of different age groups, they eagerly await for February 1st and that's when the Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman presents her budget. Right now we're present at New Delhi Institute of Management and we are here to find out what is their idle budget wishes. Thank you. I would recommend the government to have some uh, uh, lower the interest loan on educational loans as, as students face a lot of difficulties paying the interest loans because they are just out of college and into the corporate world so they may not be very well um, well paid off so they may not be able to uh, like uh, pay their interest and as well as the premium. I would appreciate if government could decrease the allowance that has been given to the uh, underprivileged section of the uh, society. I would appreciate if more employment jo job opportunities given to them instead of pampering them with free electricity bills and pa water supplies. I would also appreciate if government could work on the educational loans that has been provided to the students. Income slab should be increases to 10 lakh and uh, it might be a um, problem that uh, we see that uh, that the middle class families has facing a lot of issues related to tax slabs. So 80C and 80D, uh, the minimum uh, lease should be increased. The student loan, uh, uh, according to me, uh, the, the, it should be uh, a nominal, uh, it should be nominal as well as if a student uh, want to take loan by himself and after completing his graduation or while doing the job, so he, should, he or she should not have a uh, uh, pressure on his, his salary. Increase the NPS, that is the National Pension Scheme for the people who have worked in the government or in the private sector for so many years. And in the interim budget which the Finance Minister is going to present on 1st of February, the basic point and the key point would be focus, more focus on the sustainability factors and the NPS only. My demand is that there should be a specific budgeting, especially for the students who are not even able to put that much amount for their studies. So I want some part of the budget the government should put for our sites. 
there should be a tax redemption specially for the middle class and being a student uh, education the loan education like because uh, i had applied for education loan and it was difficult to get it because there were certain guidelines that you have to follow so i want that uh, the government the government of india should minimize something or some add there should be some uh, specific helpful resource that could help a student to get a facilitation of uh, education loans all the middle class and the salaried people they have to send their kids to the private schools and there they have to pay a very hefty fee for the schools same time we are paying taxes and the other side we are paying the fee also for the kids which is not justified so the if the government is collecting lot of taxes that the, there has to be a location to the government schools to make it better so that we middle class and the salaried people should send our kids to the government schools to avail those benefits biggest demand that these students have is regarding employment they want more job guarantee uh, they want some announcements on the startup sector so that it is easy for the students once they pass out from the colleges to not just join a job but become job uh, givers as well what is if i can ask you the india of your dreams if you were to you know give me a line or two what is india of your dreams india of my dreams would be where every child gets to learn not only based on see uh the, on the I, according to me the problem is with the uh, examination system be it jee double e neat or anything uh the number of seats are very less and the deserving students may not get whatever uh, they are capable of yeah i i need that to change in india and of my dreams would be equal opportunities for all um and the other one would be um, no poverty one uh, equal opportunities and no poverty yeah no more hungry people also I'm happy that India is growing the GDP is going up uh, but if you look in the per capita income it's not that great but as a whole the industry is developing so it's a hope for everyone i guess I am from the tech uh, uh, community so there's a lot of budget allocated to tech and i'm happy about it I would say allocate more funds for not only for IITs and IIMs do it for all the uh, deserving students If i were to ask you what is the India of your dreams what aap kya kahenge India of देखिए हमारे सपनों के भारत की बहुत अपेक्षाएं हैं करप्शन बहुत ज़्यादा है और आम लोग परेशान महसूस करते हैं अपने आप को तो आम लोगों की परेशानी कम होनी चाहिए उसकी समस्याओं पर ज़्यादा ध्यान होना चाहिए उसके समस्याओं का त्वरित जो है निदान निदान होना चाहिए मोस्टली यही एक्सेप्टेशन है मिडिल क्लास एज मिडिल क्लास वी डोंट एक्सपेक्ट मच द लिस्ट वी एक्सपेक्ट इज लाइक Uh, we have some basic infrastructure needs which needs to be fulfilled uh, i think the government is doing good uh, but there are certain areas which needs to be like the in the field of road and the railways we are doing good but i think the berozgari wagera wala jo samasya hai us pe as a youth we are very concerned about that sabko rozgar milna chahiye sabko padhai ke ye sukhda milna chahiye aapko lagta hai pehle jaisa india tha aapke you know young zamane mein aur abhi mein kya farak hai nahi badlav hua hai pehle zamane se abhi badlav hua hai sankhya bhi badhi hai badlav bhi hua hai kuch acha badlav ya bura badlav kya hai nahi modi ke aane se to kuch acha hi badlav hua hai i am standing right now in the avad university in the city that's garnering the most limelight ayodhya so i'm joined by students of the department of economics as well as fine arts and let's ask them what are their expectations from the government and from the finance minister uh, sir apna naam bataiye kaun se kaun se department my name is anil kumar a research scholar department of economics and social development dr raman olloya avad university ayodhya ओके सर बताइए आपका क्या एक्सपेक्टेशन है वित्त मंत्रालय से फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री से क्या चाहते हैं आप किसके ऊपर ज्यादा बजट बढ़े मैं वित्त मंत्रालय से ये चाहता हूँ कि शिक्षा पे जो बजट है वो और बढ़ाया जाए तो शिक्षा पे गवर्नमेंट को ज्यादा से ज्यादा बजट खर्च करना चाहिए ताकि आने वाला समय और हम जैसे स्टूडेंट को विकास के रास्ते पर ले जाए बता रही थी कुछ अबाउट जब जॉब्स नहीं होती हैं छोटे शहरों से क्या प्रॉब्लम होती है तो सरकार से क्या कहना चाहती है हाँ बेसिकली क्या होता है कि जब छोटे शहरों में जॉब नहीं होती है तो हम स्टूडेंट क्या करते हैं शुरू से ही सोचने लगते हैं कि हम लोग को बाहर जाके या फॉरनर की फॉरन जाने की तो बात ही छोड़ दी हम लोग अपने शहर से ही उठ के बाहर जाना चाहते हैं जॉब देखने के लिए 
तो इसमें क्या करना चाहिए हम लोग को शुरू से ही यहाँ पे इतनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिलनी चाहिए या फिर सरकार को ऐसा बजट लाना चाहिए कि बच्चों को अपने ही स्कूल अपने ही कॉलेज अपने ही यूनिवर्सिटी में ऐसी सुविधाएं मिल जाए कि वो बाहर जाए ना एल नाउ गो टू अनदर स्टूडेंट दैट आई हैव विद मी हु स्टडिंग स्कल्प्टिंग आर्ट विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज द रामलला स्कल्पचर वॉज रिसेंटली कंसिक्रेटेड इन अयोध्या बताइए सर क्या कहना चाहेंगे सरकार से बजट भी आने वाला है और इलेक्शन भी आने वाला है सरकार से क्या आप उम्मीद रखते हैं मैम नाम बताइए मैम मेरा नाम विमल सिंह है और मैं इस कल्चर स्टूडेंट हूँ फोर्थ ईयर का मैम एक्चुअली जो राम जी का मूर्ति बनी है ये श्री अरुण योगी जी ने बनाई है बहुत ही अच्छी बनी है और बहुत ही अच्छे आर्टिस्ट है हम लोग मिले भी हैं उनसे राम मंदिर में जाके बट मैम मेरा सिर्फ ये कि ये है कि जैसे कि आप कोई प्रोग्राम कर रहे हैं या आपने इस तरीके का ऑर्गेनाइज किया है तो उसके लिए आप बाहर से आर्टिस्ट आप बुलाते हैं ठीक है बट हम लोगों को भी वो देना हमारे लिए होगा और जो है हम खुद को ग्रोथ कर पाएंगे और बाहर न जाके हम अपने इनकम या हम अपनी जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटी हम यहाँ पे जो है कर सकते हैं अपने जहाँ रह रहे हैं वहीं पर कर सकते हैं